know about you, but I'm tired, man. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> time, to, time to sit and relax, take a break. Hey, everyone. I'm Jeff Shepard. I'm the general manager of the club. I want to welcome you uh, to another spring here. And Matt Engel here, uh, club chairman. Uh, pleasure to be with you today. Uh, just want to give a, I think we both want to give a shout out to all of our new members over the last few months, which are, uh, are, 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 are great in number, which is a just a terrific and exciting opportunity. And maybe, Jeff, you could talk a little bit about what, uh, what yeah, the two of us yeah. are working on so, over here. Obviously, as you can see, Matt and I have spent a long time over there shoveling. Um, because of the great membership numbers and the expansion of membership that we have, um, we really have the need for an expansion of our patio. Dining is always at capacity, so what we're doing, as you can see behind us, is we've broken ground on a patio extension that is going to allow us another 16 by 87 feet, which essentially will let us drop a bunch more tables, um, serve more of you members, some soft seating. It's going to have a nice paver connection that will go out through it. Um, later behind that, the awning project will come, meaning that the old awning that's currently up will get removed and we'll add a new awning, and that'll come later this summer. Terrific, and, and I know we're going to work also at the, the Guggenheim Lounge area behind the Pro Shop, and, yep. and have uh, some some new additions there as well with uh, with an awning replacement. So we will. We'll have an yeah. awning replacement there that will allow more seating for folks who are either waiting for, um, you know, their junior golf kids to come out and they can sit there and have a glass of wine and relax, um, and a nice place for them to wait while the kids are out playing. And junior golf certainly is uh, is is a big part of our program this year. I just. I know, I know we're uh, bursting out the seams with, with, uh, with children, so excited yeah. for the program to start up. Yeah, Carl and his team, um, obviously Brittany leading the juniors, we're up to 200 junior golfers for the spring session, yeah. which if you go back years ago, they had like 40 golfers just a couple exactly. years ago. Just so. amazing. So, and, and then, of course, as we move into late May, we, we transition into including the pool as part of our, our season, and I know we're doing some exciting expansion work uh, there as well. So. Maybe you could highlight a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we are. So again, um, with the pool capacity, you know, we get a little crowded down there and COVID is still around a little bit, so we want to be able to spread people out. So we're actually putting down some more concrete in some areas so that we can drop more chairs, have more spread out, able to hold more people. Um, so that project is actually taking place next week and we'll get rolling. So um, we've got some really exciting things going as far as capital projects. New awning, new pa uh, patio extension, um, concrete going down at the pool so that we can have an expansion of seating down there. Um, we're also doing some really cool service things where um, starting um, you know, in May actually, we're going to have from uh, 7 to 11 the uh, grill open and we will have uh, complimentary bagels and not so tennis players and golfers on their way to their uh, games can uh, grab a bagel and some coffee and hang out. I may have to go. I'll, I'll, I'll have to scoop out the bagel to keep my figure for the pool season. But uh, <laughs> but that, that's exciting. I know people are really excited about that. And then even on the course, you could talk a little bit about. I know uh, in order to accommodate, uh, you know, a quick quick dining, quick drink situation on the course. Uh, talk yeah. about what we're doing out there. So out off of the uh, ninth green. So in the area that's between the seventh green, ninth green, first green, and uh, second tee, we're going to put up kind of a temporary structure that will. Uh, allow us to have a halfway house feel, if you will, um, where we'll be selling burgers, dogs, chickens, pre-wrapped sandwiches. That way you can grab something to go if you're in a hurry, um, you're hungry while you're out playing, and I think that'll accommodate. And it'll also alleviate a little bit of the grill trying to do to go orders to take out on the golf course. So we're really excited about that as well. So, you know, lots of new members, uh, tremendous amounts of returning members, everyone excited to be out here. Uh, certainly, uh, you know, operationally create some challenges, but I know your team, in addition to the expansions, I know your team is, uh, is working hard to make sure we can continue to provide that same great member experience. We are. We're working really hard to make sure that everybody gets their tea time and that they get court time out on the uh, tennis courts. Um, we just came off a tremendous paddle season that was packed. I know you participated in that. That's great. Yeah. Um, so, though there are a lot of members and we have some compaction, we are working through it and making sure everybody gets their opportunity to play and enjoy themselves. And I really think 2021 is going to be an amazing season. Yeah. Well, I think transitional, and this is really. Uh, you know, lots of thoughts and, and time thinking about um, the, the club, the future, and, and, you know, the amazing places that we can all go together with it. So, yeah. super exciting and, uh, you know, it's... Uh, well, it's thank you to all the members that have joined and all the members that have stayed with us for years. And, of course, thank you, Matt, to you and uh, your committees that help us run the club. And we're really looking forward to seeing you all out here in 2021. Terrific.